Max Steel was the first obscure franchise I covered on this channel. And after all these years, the part one of my Blue Turbo Mode compilation series is still the most viewed video on my channel. It took me a while to make part two, but eventually I got round to it, and everyone seemed to love that as well. And since then, people have been asking for the third part, where I go over the... Green Turbo Modes. Ugh. Now, the reason I haven't made this video yet is for one simple reason. I actually haven't watched all of Season 5, which a lot of you may find surprising given how much I seemingly know about Max Steel. But obviously, because I haven't watched the Season 3 movies, I don't know what the Turbo Modes are in detail, and thus I can't make the Green Turbo Mode video. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, why don't you just watch them then? Well... I had a little bit of an idea. Seeing as I've never watched either of the season 5 movies in full, why don't I do that for the first time for a video? And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's what this video is going to be. Me watching and reacting to the first movie of Max Steel season 5, Turbocharged. The movie where Max Steel's turbo energy goes from blue to green, he loses the ability to link with Steel forever, and thus loses every single one of his turbo modes. The movie where the Max Steel we all know and love died. This is gonna be fun. Now, if you are a Max Steel fan, and given that you've clicked on this video, I imagine you probably are, then stick around to the end of the video, because I've got something very cool to tell you about. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and join the casual Discord down below, because... I am not looking forward to this. And because we live in a backwards world, the whole thing is available to watch on YouTube. You know, I really like it how I had to spend multiple weeks editing my Dinotopia Part 2 analysis because it kept getting copyrighted for 5 second clips, and yet someone can upload a whole 44 minute movie and YouTube doesn't even bat a fucking eyelid. But regardless, we're not here to talk about how shit YouTube is, we're here to talk about how shit Max Steel Season 5 is. Now, I would like to preface that I have watched about half of this movie. I can never watch it all the way through because I genuinely could not stomach it. But I guess I'm gonna have to for this video, so, uh, yeah, I enjoy my suffering, I guess. Ah, Team Turbo. We love to see them, don't we? Yeah, everyone loves Team Turbo. It's funny, because I want to make some sort of snide remark about him using Prime Mode again, but I'm just trying to enjoy the Blue Turbo Modes while they're still here to enjoy. And I've also just noticed a mistake that I've never noticed before, the fact that Max's chest plate is glowing like Steel is within the suit, yet Steel is right here. Wow, we're really starting this one off good, aren't we? I guess the tip we got about this warehouse being chock full of hostages was totally bogus. Oh, oh a total, total setup. Yeah, stand aside, Makano. It's the attack of the glowing Minecraft blocks. Why am I doing this? Go Turbo! Strength! <laughs> Oh lord, that was the most poorly animated Go Turbo animation we've had in the entire show. I actually want to go frame by frame on Steel going into Max, because I'm pretty sure he didn't actually even go into him. So he's building up the energy. Look, look, Steel goes transparent! He just disappears! He doesn't even go into Max's chest. This is a fucking joke. I'm also aware of the fact that this movie contains the worst animation quality out of anything Max Steel ever. Season 4 was obviously a very big downgrade from seasons 1 through 3, but this... This is so much worse. But to be honest, I just want to stay here and look at strength mode because I know that we're about to lose it as well as every other blue turbo mode and I... I just, I can't do this. Oh, oh my, oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord, I have to go frame by frame on that. Look at this animation. He just slides. He, 
Look, look, he doesn't even jump, he just slide punches into this fucking wall. Oh. Did, did none of them think about flying out or, or jumping out? I'm pretty sure, like, three of the four of them can fly. Yeah, that's right, everyone. Max Steel, Hero of the Universe, Slayer of Makino, Destroyer of Morphos, defeated by a bunch of Minecraft blocks. We're not even a minute in. This is the cleanest laboratory I've ever seen. Like, how do you get a place to look this clean? Who are you? You don't need to know my name, but I know yours, Maxwell McGrath. Now, it's a little difficult to recognize it, probably because of the mask, but, uh, who recognizes the voice of this guy? No, my friends, your ears do not deceive you. That is the voice of Mark Oliver. The same person who voiced Dread. I honestly can't fathom what conversations the writers must have had to come to the decision that this was gonna be a thing. Alright gang, we're gonna make a movie called Turbocharged. Oh cool, who's the villain gonna be? Oh, you're gonna love him, he's this brand new guy called Terrorax. Oh, okay, cool, so we're gonna get someone new to voice him? No, we're gonna get Mark Oliver to voice him. Really? Are, are you sure we can't just hire a new voice actor? No, Terrorax. Are you sure we can't hire a new voice actor? Because what if people look at this new guy and they think, oh, it's Dread and it's actually not? No, Terrorax. What if we just made Dread the main villain of this? I mean, he was the main villain throughout the entire first season, and for no apparent reason, he was absent from Team Turbo, despite every single one of Max's enemies teaming up with Mortem. No, Terrorax. It's all complete and utter lunacy, I'm telling you. Also, how the fuck does this guy know Max's name? Actually, I did make a point in the second turbo mode video that Max now seems completely unconcerned about hiding his identity. And again, what are we supposed to expect? Any character development went out the window with season three. And I have created a way to synthesize it, to unlock its true... I'm sorry, that was the shittest pickup animation that I have ever seen. Look, you can literally see the point where it goes from being on the pedestal to being stuck to his hand. They didn't animate him picking it up. They took the cube from the pedestal and then just attached it to his hand. This is pathetic. And now that you have been kind enough to supply me with these turbo energy samples, you have outlived your usefulness. So you're telling me that you went to all this trouble to capture Max Steel. He is helpless right now and all you wanted from a limitless source of tachyon energy was that tiny little cube. God, Dread would be disgusted if he was here. This dude's a moron. They want turbo energy? I'm gonna give it to them. All of it! No, Max! Don't do it! This is a mistake! You don't know what you're doing! You're gonna lose your turbo modes! You know what that green means, everyone? That green means we've just lost Max Steel forever. All 27 of his regularly accessible turbo modes... ...gone forever. Welcome to Season 5, everyone! I gotta say, I really don't like the new logo either. It's really generic, and... Uh, I, I just don't- I don't like any of this. There's literally not a single part of this that I'm liking thus far. I guarantee you that that goat is probably the best animated thing in this entire movie. 
Since when can I punch through solid rock with my bare hands? Since the fucking first episode! I can't bear this. What am I doing? Why am I subjecting myself to this utter garbage? Oh my god, look at his shoulder. That does not look healthy. That's... Shoulders aren't meant to... They don't do that. But on a less angry note, one of the things I think we can all immediately realize, it's a little hard to see here, but the steel suit has actually started to come off in parts. And according to everything we know about Max and Steel, that shouldn't be possible. The steel suit isn't like a piece of armor that you can take on and off. Because since the day that Steel linked with Max, it's been on him the entire time, and it's... I don't know. I don't know how it's possible that it can just fall off. Or maybe it's not that it's fallen off per se, but that it's started to deteriorate and disappear, considering that supposedly whatever happened actually unlinked the two of them. I was gonna say that maybe it's because Max is no longer generating blue turbo energy, but I would have thought that the steel suit would, like, adapt to the green turbo energy and just take in more of it. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm bothering to try and explain this, because I know for certain that at this point, the writers did not give a shit about previously established stuff in the canon. They're just making stuff up as they go along at this point. Max? Is that you? Yeah, buddy. I ran the whole way here. Had it been 20 miles easy. Even Once again, him acting like being able to run really fast and without getting tired is a new thing. It isn't. Has his dementia gotten so bad that he literally forgot that on the very first day he encountered himself having turbo energy, he ran away from Butch and his bullies? Why am I trying to rationalize this? Let's just move on. We're only four minutes in. Yeah. Giant boulders now? Enhanced strength has always been a part of natural turbo energy generation steel. You of all people should know that! Go turbo! Flight! What'd you miss? I don't miss. I think it's absolutely hilarious that they put more effort into animating steel being unable to link with Max in comparison to him actually linking with him for the final time at the beginning of this film. Oh. I'm not pooping. It's not working. Something's different. Huh. I wonder what that could be. That is the most moronically cringe thing Max has ever said. We can't link, Max. Something's very clearly different. Huh, I wonder what that could be, he says with glowing green hands. So now Team Turbo has a secret base in an abandoned subway station. When did that happen? Fuck, I miss Entek. Okay, which one of these is the secret entrance? I always forget. Uh, this one? Nope. This one. Oh! This one? Yeah, I really miss Entek because this is... This is pathetic. The fact that they don't even know which fucking toilet it is, that's... Ah. Oh. Your turbo energy has clearly undergone some kind of radical metamorphosis, and the sooner we understand what that means, the better. I just noticed that Steel's vocal indicator, whatever you want to call it, the little flashing lights that go up and down when he speaks, are not at all in time with what he's saying. Why am I surprised? But first things first, Max's turbo energy is the foundation of this team. Let's get to work. Okay, Max's turbo energy is not the foundation of this team. The foundation of this team is Kinectech, and you're still not going to convince me that whatever the hell Reyna, Alex, and Citro have are turbo modes. They're not. They never have been, and they never will be. Call them turbo modes all you fucking want. They're not turbo modes. You're just calling them that because it's easy and simple, and it makes no sense.
Once again, them acting like this new green turbo energy is causing him to be super quick and super agile. He has always been agile and n none of this is anything new. Okay, I'll admit that's kind of a cool shot and that that's new like he didn't have that strength without strength mode before so Okay, that's new Brother Terrorax, we thought perhaps we'd lost you. Hold the fucking phone. Was that Fishy's voice actor? Holy shit, why am I just now finding out that Max's voice actor voiced like 90% of the people in the fucking show. Max's voice actor voiced Max, Fishy, Toxon, Torbolt, all of the Elementors apart from Metal, and that cloaked figure. Why have I never known that? That's insane. But holy shit everyone, it's the Black Star Council. Yeah, remember those guys that never got an explanation and could have made a really good overarching antagonistic force for a season 4? Yeah, me too. Your concern is touching. As for my mission, when have I ever failed the Nexus? Okay, I also want to know how in God's green earth he has so many of those cubes when we literally saw him only power one. Where were those other cubes? We can now synthesize limitless amounts of our own more powerful energy, terror energy. How? How does that work? You can't create turbo energy or any sort of weird knockoff infinitely like that. If that was possible, Dread would have done that a long time ago. It also very much hurts me that this dude is in possession of like the last blue turbo energy like in the entire universe, considering that after Team Turbo, Max's dad just doesn't fucking exist anymore. With terror energy. We will destroy the world's technology! What is, What is the point of this? Ah... Uh, <laughs> ah yes! I'm going to steal this limitless source of power, turn it into another limitless source of power, and with it, what are we going to achieve? What's our evil goal? Destroy the world's technology! What?! What were the writers honestly smoking when they made this? I, I, I want to know. So that whatever substance it was they were on when they came up with this, then it can be outlawed and destroyed. The mighty attack of my freaking wind upon you! Freaking wind? Really? Oh, the Elementors. It's, uh, it's honestly good to see some, some decent villains again. And that is a very attractive face. Oh, Lord. This animation. I'm so, I'm sorry. I know, I'm... <laughs> I'm certain that they must have been under so much pressure for them to even consider this, like, even remotely satisfactory to be pushed as a final movie, but it is just fucking awful. Look, Water Elementor is standing on the water, there's shadow, there's no particle effects, the, the background is just flat, there's no texture to it, it's just... Awful. Oh, turbo! Strike! You don't have that mode anymore. I'm about to burst into tears. The writers really said, yes, for season five, let's destroy everything that makes Max Steel good. And oh boy, did they deliver. You're still fighting like Blue Max. You gotta think Green Max now. Green Max strong! Green Max go fast! I don't want him to fight like Green Max. I want him to fight like Blue Max. This is genuine mental torture. The more turbo energy you generate, the stronger you get. Remember that. The more turbo energy you generate, the stronger you are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's always how it worked before. That's not new. And that right there. Max. Steel, and a little green symbol showing that they can never link up again. This scene right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is... 
this is where it uh this hits hard combined with you pushing yourself so far beyond your limits you reach deeper than ever before it tapped into your turbo energy on a a whole new level. Now I'm curious, I know that they didn't even once consider this because like I said, at this point they didn't care about the established continuity, they were just doing this for the fuck of it. But I am curious, if this was done in a better way, is that something that all Taconians could have done? Like, the really powerful ones, could they tap into green turbo energy as well? Or is this just a, a freak event that only Max could do? Either way, I don't really like it. I don't really think I'm against the idea of, like, green turbo energy, but it's just the fact that they took the steel away from Max Steel, and, well, this scene just explains it perfectly, doesn't it? Well, you're more powerful. Too powerful in some ways. I'll have to redesign Alex and Rain's suits to accommodate it. Okay, why are they redesigning Alex and Rainer's suits? They don't rely on turbo energy. They never have. Are they genuinely trying to wreck on it so that Alex and Rainer's suits actually rely on turbo energy? Because that was never a thing. The only reason they're able to access their turbo modes is because of Connect Tech. They weaponize themselves. It doesn't have anything to do with turbo energy. That's why we couldn't link. The stuff's too potent. It'll be like me trying to link with a, a small sun. Okay, in fairness, they at least gave an explanation that I can kind of get behind. Obviously, I hate the fact that they did it, but at least they did it in a way that makes sense. Because if green turbo energy is this whole other type of turbo energy that is just too potent for steel to grapple with, then... You know, at least it makes sense. Somewhat. I hate that they did what they did, but at least they provided somewhat of a logical reason why it happened. But for right now, you and me? Well, looks like there is no you and me. That hurts. That, that really hurts. As someone who watched Max Steel as a kid and grew close to these characters and watched them, like, through all their journeys that they had together, and, you know, it was always the two of them together, no matter what, hearing those words that they are, they're never able to link up again and that there is no Max and Steel anymore, that hurts. Like, this really was the final nail in the coffin for Max Steel. Season 4, we were already going, like, so downhill, but this... This killed it. Because... The whole show is Max and Steel together. They are a team. They are a duo. It is them together. And without that, you, you don't have a show. No matter how crazy things change, there'll always be a you and me. We're a team, Steel. We'll always be a team. You see, I'm alright with him saying that, because that is realistically something that Max would say. I mean, it's in the name, right? Yeah. It's not like we can just change the name, after all the marketing and everything. Now, I guarantee you that is just a snide little remark that the writers snuck in there to go, yeah, all of you who don't like this because Max and Steel aren't together anymore, yeah, fuck you, it's still Max Steel. And my response to that is, fuck you right back, no it isn't. Dr. Prometheus Halifax. Billionaire owner of Halifax Industries. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Halifax Industries? They couldn't have picked a name for a company that wasn't already in use. You know, Halifax, the banking company. For fuck's sake, what is wrong with these people? In my spare time, I needed you kids some sweaters. Okay, the new steel suit. Uh, it looks alright, I guess. I guess the green and the black actually does kind of work nicely together. I don't want to like anything in this. I'm actively trying to dislike everything in this, but I will admit when I like something. An exciting new chapter in Team Turbo Advanced Engineering. I like to call Steel Tech. Aw, yeah. I do like that the, I guess you could call it a steel logo on Max's chest glows. 
it's reminiscent of the, the old days when Max and Steel were linked. But I mean, most of the others don't look any different. It's just the regular outfits, but with accents of green. It's, it's like no different. You guys go high and hack the computer database via the penthouse. Why do those guards genuinely look like criminals? No regular guards for any regular industries have face masks. And no non-military guards have fucking automatic weapons. What kind of company is this? Activate chameleon mode. You know, once upon a time, instead of going activate chameleon mode, Max would say, go turbo stealth. Once upon a time. Honestly, I'd take Turbo Hunter mode over this shit. Stop! Dude, not cool! I don't believe what I'm watching. Is this really what Max Steele degraded to? Fart jokes in an elevator? Not cool! Uh, I guess I should have skipped the Frijoles del Diablo. But I hate going turbo on an empty stomach. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare use the phrase going turbo. You're a glorified furry at best, Alex. We're almost through their firewalls. Just a little more. 49% is not almost through the firewalls. I'm just saying. We've got a problem here. Uh, Rain, we're, uh, we're stuck in an elevator. What? Why? Did the- did the elevator just fucking stop? Did it get stuck? The- this is a joke. Welcome, Maxwell. Oh, no need to hide. We can sense that you're here. Greetings, rip-off Mars Dread. What wonderful stuff do you have in store for us? I got nothing. <laughs> there's... There's literally nothing I could say right now that could salvage this. <laughs> there's nothing. There's literally nothing. Max Steel's dead. I, I can't... I literally cannot say a single thing that would make this better. That was the shittest thing I've ever seen. There wasn't even any consistency with her firing the ice beam. She was just like, fire, fire, I'm gonna stop a bit. And when she stopped, the beam started freezing over. Also, they're lasers. Is that even possible? Can you freeze lasers? I don't think that's even possible. I see your turbo energy has changed, Maxwell. See, now you can definitely hear that it's dread, but that... <laughs> That ain't dread. Dread, please come back. I don't I don't know what that is, but I want it off my screen. Because you are weak. You set limits, rules, lines you won't cross. But I, I have no such limits. I feel like this whole thing would genuinely be so much better if it was just dread. Like genuinely, why do we have to have this stupid looking new villain? with Dredd's voice actor, when Dredd's whole deal, literally throughout all three of the seasons, was that he wanted Max's turbo energy. It would literally make perfect sense for the villain of this to be Dredd. And yet, they went with this fucking knockoff gourmet looking motherfucker. Hey, Blabbermouth! You want strong? Here it comes! Ugh. Am I meant to count that as a turbo mode? You know, I, I don't know what the rules are anymore. Go turbo, tiger! It pains me so much that Max has lost the ability to go turbo, and yet these losers that he's picked up along the way still can. I hate this! Lafiera, wait! Alex is just a fucking idiot. Like, what did he think he was gonna do against Terrorax? Nexus will bring the world to its knees. Destroy. 
destroying all the technologies mankind has come to rely on. I don't get it. Why do they want that? Why do they want to destroy all the technology in the world? It makes no sense. They wouldn't have been able to make Terra Energy without it. I don't... This makes no sense. And this is why I hate hauling the Copper Canyon. Always with the super battles. Holy crap, that's the first confirmation we've had that we are still indeed in Copper Canyon for the entire movie thus far. It's starting to actually physically hurt me to watch the, like, the quality of this animation. Most of the characters just look like Play-Doh at this point, and Terax just looks like shiny Play-Doh. I don't know. He looks marked to me. Yeah, totally trash. This is what Team Turbo has been reduced to, fighting their villains by dumping rubbish on them. Team Turbo, everyone. Where would Max be without them? Okay, I'll, I'll admit that that was funny. Although Terrax had like a solid three or four seconds to react to that, so uh, yeah. Oh my God! What the fuck? Look at that kid! <laughs> that is the most horrifying thing I've seen in a long time. My fucking god. We are Nexus, and soon we will disrupt your means to power. Yeah, but... Yeah, but why? You keep saying you're gonna get rid of all the technology, and I'm still not seeing a fucking reason. Okay, now that they've said that, that makes a little bit more sense. That they're just using the whole lack of power thing to make the world serve them, or whatever. Also, that is another brilliant screenshot right there of that guy's face. It shuts systems down, destabilizing them at a molecular level. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Did I see that correctly? Alright, look at Steel holding this piece of Psytro's armor. Wait, what- wait and see what happens until he, like, flips it around. Look there. It's untextured on the back. How did this film get made? Like, how did- how was it greenlit to go out the door? This is beyond a joke at this point. You underestimated the tenacity of the Max Steel and Team Turbo Terrax. He didn't underestimate shit. He absolutely bodied them and they managed to catch a lucky break and escape. I guarantee you that if Terrax had come up against Season 3 Max Steel, he would have been absolutely fucking bodied. I will create terror energy powered warriors. What are they? What are they? Seriously, what are they? Feral predator, technologically enhanced, and holy meditation on genetic metamorphosis, and a lethal assassin bot who executed its own maker. So now they're just throwing in random bullshit. Oh, God. It would have been so much better instead of those random three things if it would have been, like, Extroyer, Toxon, and, like, maybe the Elementors combined together, and then they enhance them with Terror Energy. But no. No, no, it couldn't have been that, could it? Because that would, that would have been good. Uh, what is it he says again? Go turbo. He doesn't say that anymore because he can't go turbo. And that's thanks to you. You. Monster! See, like, what is, what is that? Just look at the, like, what is that? That is just a Gormitty. I made the joke earlier about Terrax looking like a discount one. That is... Oh. This does not deserve to be called Max Steel. Is... 
it's, it just doesn't. Meet Smith, robot assassin of a thousand traps. Robot assassin of a thousand traps. That's the best you could come up with, Terrorax. <laughs> Oh, this isn't even funny. I have left you death, Team Turbo. I have left you Team Terror. Well, Max should be able to pretty easily deal with that because that's basically just Robot Extroyer. Extroyer. Oh, I miss him so much. It would have been so good if Team Terror was just Max's old villains, but enhanced with Terror energy. That would have been so much better than these random beings that Terrorax apparently pulled out his asshole. What the fuck am I watching? Wait a minute. That sound effect that just played, hold the phone. That sounded like one of the sound effects from Digimon. Let me pull up a let me pull up a clip in editing and let me compare those two sound effects. I'm convinced that was the same sound effect. <laughs> Raptor? Think you're gonna need to update your programming. Since when did he have that? Did he just pull that out of his asshole? These guys can't just create new turbo modes. They had the first ones because of Connect Tech and they had the second ones because of Mortem. Where the fuck did this one come from? God, they are they they just don't even care anymore, do they? They're not even trying. Go turbo! Okay, so we had the first Go Turbo of Green Turbo Energy, and God, is that even a is that even a mode? Does that even count? He just has a big sword on his arm now. That's not a that's not a new mode. You guys may have forgotten at this point that I'm doing this in order to gather information to do the green turbo modes video. I don't know. I'll definitely consult the wiki after I've watched these two to figure out what people class as turbo modes. Go turbo blaster! Okay, so now he's just able to generate turbo weaponry. And I guess he kind of randomly did that with Turbo Hunter mode, didn't he? But now he's actually doing it as, like, Turbo modes. I don't know anymore. I just want this to be over. Terrorax just had to call and brag about how he left Team Terror for us to find, right? Well, I traced his call. I know where he is. And theoretically, if he let you trace his call, considering he let you trace him back to his own fucking building, then that also is going to be a trap. Why are they not learning from their mistakes? Oh no, Team Shitfuck is still alive. I bet they're gonna be relevant. Turbo shield. Okay, that's fun, I guess. I mean, nothing that he's doing here compares to anything that he did while he was actually Max Steel, but... Uh. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm sort of very much done trying to rationalize any of this. Fucking Sidro got sent there. My god, he went flying. That was that was actually quite funny. This is also one of the shittest fight scenes I think I've ever seen. Although then again, I think it is actually a bit better than what's been in the film thus far. <laughs> that head turn. I don't think that's how physics works. She has, like, ice beams, not wind. That would have still gone into her head. It just would have been a bit cold. Yeah. 
You are not about to tell me that I just watched what I just watched. That wasn't even Max's model. That was, I swear, just the model of the hand going like that a bit. That was the laziest shit I have. Oh my god. They really tried to cut corners, didn't they? Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the same guy. He's just been standing there for like 12 hours straight. Those blaster projectiles are not even hitting him. They're just reaching the position of his model and then they're just disappearing. There is no particles. There is no indication they are actually hitting him. This is ridiculous. I have been told that the second season 5 movie is actually a little better in terms of like quality, so hopefully I won't have to deal with anything like this in the next one. The amount of power it would take to undo all of that. You can't. Raina, do you have any idea about what Max has done in the past? He generated enough turbo energy to blast through the shield of a ship the size of a small sun! And you're saying that it's too much for him to turn on everyone's electricity again? Ugh. So, you're telling me that there wasn't even, like, any any wave we just didn't see that oh five minutes left let's get it over with i've got a stream to get to in an hour i'm not sure i understand maxwell get it off of my screen get this Gormitty ripoff, wet play doh looking motherfucker off my screen. Terrorax is genuinely one of the most hideous things I have ever laid eyes upon in my 21 years of life on this planet. I don't want to see him anymore. Looking pretty possible from here. Finally, a new turbo mode that's actually a turbo mode. I want to say that this is called turbo armor mode. I think I might have read that somewhere. But finally, that is a turbo mode. You're the villain. Okay, that was that was pretty cool. I'll I'll dig green turbo energy when it does stuff like that. Bloody hell, Max just straight up murdered the guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think he went a bit over the top there. But I guess there wasn't really any solution in the moment. I mean, he couldn't exactly have taken him to Entech and put him in a stasis cell because Entech doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, big shout out to Max's new green turbo energy. With this new turbo energy, I feel like there's no limit to what this team can do. No. 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 I'm not playing this game anymore. I am not going to listen to this bullshit of these idiotic writers trying to convince me that green turbo energy is somehow better. I'm not doing it. I'm done. I'm no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh god, please don't tell me he's still alive. I will rise again. Why why did why is he still alive? I don't why is he still alive? 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 Ow. Well, everyone, that was my reaction to Max Steel Season 5 Part 1, Turbocharged. Ah, uh, honestly, I don't really think there's much else for me to say because I think I've made my thoughts on this movie evidently clear during my reaction. This is the lowest of the low when it comes to Max Steel. A point where the showmakers took everything established in four seasons of the show and said, 
fuck it. Because I said this in the reaction, and I don't really think I need to say it again, but I will anyway. The whole point of the show is that it is Max and it is Steel. The two of them together. That is what Max Steel is, and that is what it always has been. It was bad enough to suggest in Season 4 that Max needed help with Team Turbo, but this... I don't understand how you fuck up a show this bad. I am not necessarily against the idea of green turbo energy. I think it's an interesting idea that had a very, very horrible execution. Because separating Max and Steel makes no sense whatsoever when it comes to Max becoming this new green Max Steel. Because once again, the writers have forgotten literally everything that the show has established in the past. Max should not be able to generate any modes with green turbo energy because that is what steel is for. That's how it's always worked. Max literally says it in the season one intro. He generates the power and steel has the alien tech to control it. So without steel, Max literally shouldn't be able to do anything with the green turbo energy. And moving away from Max for a second, let's talk about the fact that Team Turbo has somehow seemingly gained the ability to generate their own turbo modes. Because to my understanding, that was never a thing that they could do by themselves. Now I have to admit that whilst editing this, I did actually briefly think that I made a mistake in that I misunderstood how Connect Tech actually worked. But the way that Max's dad explains how Connect Tech works seems to suggest that you actually need the Matrix to change the objects and the people once they've been weaponized, as opposed to Connect Tech giving objects and people the ability to change themselves. And obviously they lost Connect Tech when Mortem took it and it became embedded in his head, so the only modes that Team Turbo should have access to are the modes that they initially created for themselves using Connect Tech, and the modes that Mortem gave them that they retained after they were freed from his control. The way I I understand it is that they should not have the ability to create their own turbo modes. They need exterior forces to help them with that. So Alex and Citro having turbo drill and turbo raptor mode doesn't make any sense. And of course you could say that during the time skip between season 4 and season 5 they figured something out, but you know, we don't have any explanation for that. And not to mention that Steel was saying for some reason that the members of Team Turbo rely on Max's turbo energy. And as far as I can tell, that was never indicated during Season 4. Yes, it was Max's turbo energy that allowed Connect Tech to weaponize them initially. But there was nothing in Season 4 that even remotely suggested that their powers relied on turbo energy. Yes, it was turbo energy that was used to create their suits and weaponize them in the first place, but I've always seen it as more of a one-time transaction, in that turbo energy was more just the energy that was used to make their suits and weaponize them in the first place, rather than an energy that they would constantly need to use their powers. Now, moving on to the villains... Well, I don't really think I need to say much. First of all, you have the disgusting Play-Doh abomination that is Terrorax, who reminds me of Dread every time he opens his fucking mouth because it's the same voice actor. And of course, the absolute shit show that is Team Terror. A bunch of completely random monsters with no character development, no backstory that the developers pulled out of their asses, And they literally only exist for Team Turbo to beat the fuck out of them. Not to mention their horrifically boring plan to steal all the world's power that Max manages to undo in a literal heartbeat. And of course I forgot to mention that having lost the ability to link with Max, Steel has been demoted to the guy in the chair.
Why? Honestly, if they'd have kept the green turbo energy and also kept Max and Steel linking together to make these new green turbo modes, that would have been so much better. And what also would have been so much better is getting rid of this whole stupid Nexus group and Terror Axe and Team Terror and having Dread as the main villain instead. Especially considering that, like I said, he was absent from Team Turbo for no no apparent reason. And of course, we cannot forget the horrible animation quality. Now, as someone who did an entire three-year degree on animation, there were some that popped out to me that I think probably wouldn't have popped out to the general audience. Although I definitely think that you don't need to have studied animation to just see how bad this movie's quality is. I honestly don't know what happened to make this one so much worse. Because for the most part, all of season 4 was actually alright in quality. It was obviously a very big downgrade from seasons 1 through 3, but it was still nowhere near as bad as this. There was like next to no lighting or shading or anything that resembles decent animation in this at all. I don't know what time constraints they were under or how little money they had, but whatever happened, this was, in a word, awful. This is just plain awful, and the only thing this thing is good for is appreciating how good the earlier seasons of Max Steel actually were. Seriously, after watching this video, you go and watch any of the seasons one through three episodes, and the quality difference is insane. And it's absolutely shocking how far Max Steel really fell, and it's it's sad. Because Max Steel was an absolutely incredible show with good character development, amazing world building, and really, really creative ideas. Not to mention the action and the visuals were absolutely amazing. This... This had none of those. And the only thing I'm expecting to be better about the second film of season 5 is maybe that the animation quality is going to be a bit better. So it's going to be a little bit easier to stomach. And I should also probably mention that Season 5 is continuing the trend that Season 4 started with Fusion Tech in that it has forgotten all of the past characters. Entech, yeah, they don't exist anymore. All of Max's family, yeah, they're dead. All of Max's villains, yeah, they're probably dead as well. And I do actually know that in the sequel, there is actually some evidence to suggest that most of Max's villains might actually be dead. But regardless, we'll get to that when I react to the sequel. Now, I said at the start of the video that I had something to tell all of you Max Steel fans about. And that something is that, yes, I I have done it again because it is my great pleasure to announce that the Max Steel unofficial Discord is now open. Now you guys know that I'm no stranger to making discords for obscure fandoms and honestly, I'm really surprised that it took me this long to make one for Max Steel. To be honest, I think it was because I didn't think there was enough to do with Max Steel that would warrant making a Discord. But then again, Max Steel has five seasons and seven movies, and I made a Discord for Speckles the Tarbosaurus, and that only has three movies. So yes, I have finally made a Max Steel Discord, and if you go down into the description or to the pinned comment down below, you'll find a link to the Max Steel Discord and to the Casual Discord as well. The Casual Discord, for those of you who don't know, is the Discord that I use to let you guys know when I'm uploading videos, when I'm doing live streams, and giving you guys teasers for future projects. So go join both of those Discords because I would love to see you guys there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video because, uh... I certainly didn't. No, in fairness, it was a lot of fun to make fun of this movie, and honestly, I am excited to make fun of the second one as well. I can only hope that it'll be a little bit better, but to be honest, I don't really think I should get my hopes up. And obviously, after I've reacted to the sequel, I'll finally be able to finish the Max Steel Turbo Mode series 
for good. But don't worry, after that, many more Max Steel videos will be on the way, including all of Extroyer's animal forms and all of the elementals. And some people have also asked me to go back and react to season four as well. So I, I might end up doing that as well. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I will see you on another video very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.